Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks in the United States. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, January 14, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome. We'll start by looking at the Great, the, not great British Pound, but the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have been quite back and forward. We're up 0 0.23 at this current stage, but a pullback towards the bottom of the of this uh, range that is what i am expecting at this current stage the reason for that is we are the, at the top of the bullish band and we are also here overbought here in the rsi so uh, probability that we'll fall from here is actually higher and um, it will probably be um, for example uh, when they start voting on the impeachment, that probably is going to be what is going to trigger a, a pullback in this market. Um, a removal of Donald Trump is seen as a positive thing in the market, and I don't think I will step on anybody's foot when I'm saying that, because the last time, uh, actually when he lost the election, we saw actually this. So this market actually rallied 12.74%, and uh, if he gets removed from office, which is... Well, kind of unlikely, but uh, but people are in doubt at this current stage. It will mostly have a pull, uh, will pull back towards this bottom, but then it will start rallying because he's such makes such uncertainty uh, basically all the time, and markets basically hate uncertainty. So if you look at other technical indicators, we see that MACD is flat, the CCI is flat, the stochastic is also. It's crossing the signal line, but it is it is still bullish at this current stage. So, but what I am expecting here is a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band, and that is roughly a fall of one point five six percent before we go higher. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, very similar. We have rallied up towards these previous highs. And at this point, I think that a pullback towards the 20 exponential, that is what we should expect to happen um, tomorrow's session or on Friday's session. Uh, it is fairly unlikely that we will stick around here. If we break these um, previous highs, then we are going higher. But that will be very short-lived because we are at the top of the bullish band here. We are at 74 and the RSI. So we are overstretched and overbought. So that is not a very good cocktail. But a pullback towards the 20, that would make a whole lot of sense. That's a fall of roughly 509 points or 1.64% uh, and then rally from there. So if we pull back from here, then the target is, is um, uh, 31,000 uh, first and then 31,500. But at this current stage, I would not enter this market for a buy because we are just overstretched. Other technical indicators are fairly flat, except for the, the stochastic, which is crossing the signal line, and it's actually bearish at this point. So this is probably the first warning that we are going to see momentum change to the downside towards the 20 exponential. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So you can see we have been back and forward here in the NASDAQ. We found the resistance here at 12,873 and then rallied a little bit. And now we're basically in the middle of nowhere. So the thing with the NASDAQ is that we are only at 58 here in NASDAQ. So it can become extremely high up to the, uh, to the, to the, uh, to the high 80s uh, before it turns around. But uh, we are hitting the top of here on the bullish band. That is not a good sign. We're actually based in the middle of nowhere. So a pullback towards the the 20 exponential or the, or the middle of the bullish band would make sense. That's a pullback of roughly uh, 1%. And that should be, uh, should be an indication that, or basically where people will start buying again. Otherwise, if we rally from here and go to the top of this range, then we're going to go way outside of the Bollinger Band and we're going to see a quite aggressive fall, very similar to what we saw here um, and also what we saw over here. But at this point, pull back towards the 20 exponential, that is basically your buying opportunity. Um, and the target 
at this current stage will be uh, 13,500, um, give or take. So let's look at the tech stock. And as you can see, they're all very green. Even Facebook is green, and that is actually amazing. It has been green for, for technically ever. You can see that we've been just falling off a cliff for a really long time now. But we look at start, start looking at Apple. Apple has rallied 1.62%, and we're trading above the 20 exponential at this current stage. Uh, we are most likely, if you manage to take out the uh, 133, then we're going all the way to 139, and that's a roughly increase of uh, $8.15 and 6.23%. Uh, so that's where we are most likely are going, and we'll basically hit the Bollinger Band for that. So we're going to be very overstretched, around 136. That's where we'll find a major resistance. A pullback towards the 40 is a buying opportunity. It is fairly late to buy into this now. If you look at technical indicators, they are still fairly bearish at this current stage. Uh, MACD is bearish, the C RSI is uh, bearish, and the CCI is flat, and the stochastic is still bearish. So you could expect a pullback and then rally. That is, that is also very likely, but that is a buying opportunity. So let's look at Amazon. Amazon has rallied 1.44%. We have run into major resistance here at the 100 moving average. That is roughly 3,194. And we have pulled back underneath the 50 moving average. So not a good sign. But if we look at these technical indicators, it is basically a very uh, positive sign for this stock. We ran into major uh, support down here and we have been rallying since. The MACD is turning around, the RSI is turning around, CCI is turning around, and also the MACD is turning around. So could expect a rally from here all the way to these previous highs at um, as roughly an increase of 3%, and these highs here is 5.76%. That is most likely where we're heading before we are going to fall back down. So the top of the Bollinger Band is at the 30 313 and uh, we'll find resistance there so this is probably where you should get out of the market so let's look at microsoft so we're up uh, more a little bit more than a half, half a percent and we have run into resistance here at the 50 moving average that is roughly at the 216 technical indicators are well they're bearish at this current stage but we have pulled back from the bottom of the bullish band at this point it's very likely that we are going to go all the way to the very top here. And that's an increase of roughly 4.99%. So um, we'll run into a fair amount of resistance before that, uh, roughly at uh, 226. That's where you probably should leave this market. So let's look at the probably worst trade I've done for a really long time. Uh, nothing is happening here. It's just falling off a cliff. There's one bad news after one bad news. Probably Mark Zuckerberg is uh, uh, less popular than Donald Trump at this current stage. So that doesn't help. Um, but 200 moving average is here. And is probably where this is going to stop. Hopefully. Uh, there is not a lot of room to the downside still. We are way outside of the bullish band. There could have been three uh, days where we have pulled back towards the middle of the bullish band. It has not occurred yet, but this uh, candlestick here is an indication that this is probably as far as this will fall. So from here to the very highs up here is 16.27%. And um, if you manage to get there, probably... But it will probably take also three, four, five weeks, maybe two months uh, at this current stage. So if we pull back from here, then this is a massive buying opportunity. Uh, fall below the 20, 200 moving average opens the door to the 300 moving average all the way down to $231. I would be fairly surprised if that happened. But I did also say the same thing when we were at the 150. So... This stock has just been a um, pinata uh, for the last few weeks. And everything that has gone wrong in the world has been blamed on Facebook. And uh, yes, you can basically see what basically has happened to the stock. Technical indicators otherwise are very bearish still. Um, RSI is showing some kind of life. We are on the edge of being oversold. And we are way outside here, here in the bullish bands. And that usually is an indication that we'll turn around. 
So let's look at Tesla. Tesla is up 0.59%. I am still expecting a pullback towards the, the 20 exponential. That's a fall of roughly 13.77%. That is most likely going to occur when uh, that is the that is the question. We are significantly overbought, so it needs to pull back. To buy this at this point is uh, pointless, really. And uh, we are actually also very overstretched here in the Bollinger Band. So a pullback for a pullback towards the 20, that is um, uh, where you should start buying into this market with a target of 850 and then to 900. Let's look at Google. We can see that we have uh, rallied roughly 0.45%. It looks like we have found support here. And now we're going to turn around. Technical indicators, they are fairly mixed still. Stochastic is negative. The CCI is flat. The RSI is bullish. And the MACD is flat. But um, 40 exponential moving average right here looks like that was going to be the bottom. And now we're going to target these previous highs. And that is roughly up 3.23%. And then we'll go into these highs, 1850 uh, before we run into major resistant up here. So we can see that we run into resistant around 1793. Uh, that's the top of the bullish band. We're gonna, we are going to pull back after that. So Netflix had a really good day today. However, we ran into uh, quite a lot of resistance here at that 20 exponential moving average. It's not really, um, uh, it's not really ready to break this. However, I think that we are going to break it. These second indicators are all turning around. We were way outside of the Bollinger Band. And at this point, the top of the Bollinger Band an increase of roughly 6.99% uh, roughly from here. That is very likely the next uh, two and a half weeks. Uh, it is still possible to buy into this. It is, um, it is uh, risky, but the... The momentum is to the upside, and that will change uh, drastically the next few uh, trading days. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck, and thank you very much.